Um, this video is going to be about section 3.3 and it's going to be about a bunch of log formulas and it's also going to tell us how to evaluate something like this. Okay. If you think about this, and this is where I'm going to start, is that our calculators if you look at a calculator, you're going to have a log button and a natural log. Now that log button, so I'll make it look like a button, put a little box around it. What that really is, it's the log base 10 of whatever, whatever you enter. The natural log is the log base E. So our log formula says this, that the log A to the X, we can convert that to any base any way we want. So it says, I'm going to pick a number B for a base, and I plug the X in here, and then I also put that same log base B on the bottom, and I put the A in here. Okay, So that tells us we can go to any base we want. And so usually this is going to work one of two ways. We're going to use B is equal to 10, so we get the log base A of X is equal to the log base 10 of X over the log base 10 of A, or we're going to use our B equal to, you know, the, the, the E, and so we would get log base A of X is equal to the natural log of X over the natural log of A. Always what you're taking the log of goes on top, the base goes on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to look at this on the next page. We're going to evaluate that. So let me write a couple of things down so you can see it. Sorry, I have some scrap paper here I want to get rid of. Um, so we want to look at the log base 3 of 10. And I'm going to use the formula that the log base 3 of 10 is either going to be the log base 10 of the number on top, 10, or the log base 3, log base 10 of 3. Or we're going to do that one, and then I'm going to do this one, that the log base 3 of 10 is equal to the natural log of 10 over the natural log of 3. Either of these work. I'm picking these two because that's what the calculator tells us. So let's, I'm pretending that I already did this. So I do this, and I get 2.096. Okay. Um, what that tells me is, remember, if I use this exponential relationship, 3 to this power is equal to 10. And we'll check this in a minute. So what I'm saying is 3 to 2.096, that's a 6, it might look like a 1, is equal to 10. Now remember, this is really goes, it's an infinite digit decimal, so it really goes on and on and on. We're rounding, so we're not going to quite get an exact value. Okay, so I'm going to do it for this one, except I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, I'm going to share the screen. It's going to go to Google page, and then I just enter in calculator. So I already have it right there. So I enter in calculator, and I get a quick basic calculator. Okay, so what I want to do, it's hard to see from here, but the problem is log base 3 of 10 is equal to the log base 3 of, um, if I can expand that a little bit, that's the problem we're doing. Log base 3 of 10 is log 10 over log 3. Okay, so write that down so you have it. And I'm going to just pull that back a little bit. So we want, we want to look at the log base 10. Oops, that's supposed to be a 10. Divided by the natural log base 3. See what we get. And we get the same number before. But what we're going to do is we're going to truncate that to 2.095. Uh, and then since the 5 is, you know, there's a 9 next to it, we're going to round that up to the 6. So 2.096, that's what we got. Okay. And I mentioned before, hopefully you can see it in the, in the, in the insert video, that this tells me that 3 to the 2.096 is equal to 10. And so I'll, I'll show you. I'm going to enter that in. So I'm going to clear this. 
and I'm going to do uh, 3. And then I'm going to enter in my exponent. And the exponent we decided was 2.096. And let's see what we get. We don't quite get 10. We get a little bit more, but that's because we rounded. So that's, going to, that's close enough. OK, so I'm going to stop the share and just kind of just say that we just did a check and we got that. So let's do one more. I'll, I'll let you do it. Um, it's going to be the log base 8 of, of 17. And I want you to evaluate it using one of these formulas right here, either convert it to log 10 or, uh, or log base e. Okay, I'll give you a second to do that. Hit pause. You, okay. Now you've, you've unpaused it and you've come back to listen. So I'm going to I don't, I don't need to do both. I'm just going to do one. So I'm going to do the log base 10 of 17 over the log base 10 of 8. I don't need to write the 10 there because we know that. And so let's say I go back to that calculator and do it. Just plug it in. And what I got was 1.362. And let's see if that makes sense. That's saying that 8 to this number should give me 17. I just want to look at it. 8, 1.362 equal 17. I'm just saying, does this make sense? Well, 8 um, eight to the 1, so that's going to be bigger than 8, but less than 64. And exponents work funny, so this this is going to be, this tells me it's going to be a little bit 8, but not nowhere near as big as 8 squared. So that makes, to me, that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to go over some of the other formula. Hopefully you know how to do that now, the change of base. Just to kind of, just so you know, that's the change of base is what, we, what we've been doing. We'll do a couple of exercises like this in class, too. So now there's just a bunch of formulas, and I'm going to list a few of them. Um, and then we'll do some examples. And the first one is that the log, doesn't matter what base we in, x times y. So I'm multiplying that is equal to the log base a of x plus the log base a of y. And here's the way I think about it, why this works. This is what helps me to remember that if I raise a, multiply a to the m times a to the n, I end up adding the exponents. That should be an n. So what this tells me is when you multiply like bases, you add exponents. That, to me, is what this, that's how I interpret that. I multiply like bases, and I add their exponents. Okay, so let's do an example, just so you get uh, a sense of what this is. We're going to have the log base 5 of, of 13x times y. Okay? Now, I'm going to break this down this way, 13x and y. And so, this is going to be my first thing. So I get this is going to be equal to the log 5 of 13x plus the log 5 of y. Okay. And if I wanted to, I could break this up more. I have this being 13x, so I can break this up again. Log 5 of 13 plus log 5 of x plus log 5 of y. So that broke into those two. Okay. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do the log base 10 of x times z squared. Okay, break that into the log base 10 of x plus, again, I'm using that formula, log base 10 of z squared. Okay. So again, you'll be able to have some practice exercises on that. So that's that's the that's the multiplication formula. So I'm just going to say multiplying. Okay. Now we're going to do the division formula. It's very similar. So we're the next formula is this one: the log a of x divided by y is the log base a of x plus the, sorry, minus the log base A of Y. So that's a subtraction. That's a minus sign there. 
And this is why, to me, this makes sense. If I take a to the x over a to the y, this is equal to a to the x minus y. So when you divide like basis, divide x and y, you add, I'm sorry, you subtract exponents. So you divide like bases, you subtract exponents. That's how I remember that rule. That's the division rule. And let's do an example of that. I'll use the natural log this time. Uh, so let's do the natural log of 8 divided by 5. Now, um, this tells me that's going to be my x. That's going to be my y, the 5. So this should be the log base 80 minus log of 5. Okay. Now, I did this, and what I got was this, 4.382 minus 1.609. And if I do the math, that's going to be equal 9 from 82 is going to be 73. Uh, 16 from 43 is going to be 27. So I get 2.73. Now, if you've looked at this, you've noticed probably that if I divide 80 by 5, 5 goes into 80 evenly. So I'll do that division. 80 divided by 5 is 16. So this is also the log of 16. And I hit my calculator, and this is what I got. 2.773 and change. Okay, so That's an example of how to use that formula. Now, why would you want to do this? That's a good, so that's a good question. Um, I can just hear people asking that. A lot of this has to do with back when they had log tables and didn't have calculators. You did these kinds of tricks to make your work easier. Um, another reason is this comes up in applications and calculus where you have to use these formulas. So that's all I'm going to say. It's one of these things that if you're going to use logs, these formulas come up. Okay. And there's one more formula, and it's this one, log base a x to the n. Okay. And that's going to be equal to the n times natural log of a x. So I think of it this way, is that when I take a number, to the n, what do I, how, do I, how do I do that? I multiply exponents. This is going to be a to the n times m. So again, take a look. So when you have a, a power to a power, you multiply okay. n times the exponent. So for example, if I had the log base 10 of 10 cubed, I can bring this down. And this is equal to 3 times log base 10 of 10. Okay. okay, so I'm going to do a couple of examples on the next page. So here we have the three rules. I'll write them again. The multiplication rule says when you multiply, you add exponents. When you divide, the division rule, you subtract exponents. And when you have a power to a power, you bring the exponent out in front. Okay, so those are the three rules. 